Hello again, everybody. I am Jeff. Jeff opens cards. Just got back from a week's long vacation. I uh, had about 12 hours of travel today. Obviously, my boy Milo here is very happy that I'm home. Uh, so I still have my end-of-season chest to open up. So these are a little late compared to everyone else, obviously. Uh, I think we're already like three and a half days in the season. I think it was a 14-day season that we're in progress right now. So a little late on these, but uh, I, I saved them for you guys until I got home to open them on camera. Uh, in recording. I could have claimed them on uh, my phone or something, but I saved them. So, see their claim button's still active, which means I have not claimed them. And this, is, this isn't a redo. This will be all brand new to me. So this is the uh, three accounts to do. This is the uh, lowest tier alt. So these, I believe, are silver chests, I think. I'm actually not positive. These might actually be bronze chests. Okay, those look like bronze chests. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80 bronze chests. This one I'm doing a reveal on. We'll, we'll scroll back through and see what else we, we see in the end here. But got a rare early on here. <clears throat> Not seeing too much awesome here. 2.117. I think that's the highest SPS so far. Couple more rares. Another 0.1 SPS. 0.537 SPS. For bronze chest, that seems pretty decent. And a quarter SPS here too, so. Definitely got more than one SPS in here. Potions, I'm fine with that. And basically any potions again, the alt accounts, I'll just transfer packs to them when there's enough to like make it worthwhile to open. Um, let's see, no epics, no golds. Pelican Conjurer, I know it got up to like 1.9 cents. I think it came back down. Once it was like 1.3 last I saw. Yeah, I mean, I was just trying to look at like rental rates on Rift Watchers. Cause I, wasn't able, I wasn't able to see that uh, on mobile. Cause I, actually, I did get logged in eventually, didn't I? Well, I this, just a little bit ago was my first time seeing any rental rates for Rift Watchers. I'll be opening up Rift Watchers packs in 24 hours. So videos for that coming very soon on this channel as well. As of right now, I do not technically own any Rift Watcher singles. Uh, so, uh, Archmage bot, I'm not doing any favors to, uh, as don't have any new cards on there yet. Uh, we'll check on Splex after to see if the totals were uh, dollar-wise for these chests. I don't have the um, daily, quest for, daily focus chest to open up for you guys. That happened just a little before I got home. Didn't have the ability to, like, toggle that on and off while away, so... Sorry about that, but hopefully... Possibly tomorrow night, I'll be able to do the daily again, but we'll see. We'll see. No promise on that front. Uh, right now, my priority is definitely going to be um, getting some Rift Watchers pack openings completed, recorded, all that good stuff. So these ones, I, I'm not even good. Is it silver? Or is, were these ones gold? I'm running gold chests this season, but for the season that's complete, I don't remember. <laughs> okay, gold. So we got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 53 gold chest. I'll kind of rapid fire one row at a time. Won't reveal all, but we'll do a row and then assess. So two rares, a pack, and 18 potions. That's a solid row in my opinion. In my opinion. Do, 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 do. 2.7 SPS there. 0.4, point, basically a couple point fours. 12 potions, common. Especially in, like, the higher tiered chest it is, uh, the worst is to get a common card. Like, it, in bronze, common cards are fine because you're not getting very, very much SPS in chests anyway. So, a common replacing what could have been an SPS drop doesn't mean, you know, you get left money on the table. But, like, here, like, I definitely rather get, you know, 2.4, even 0.5 SPS than any common reward card. I'd rather get any... Any quantity of potions, even if it's one potion, I'll get the common card at this point. But it it all balances out in the end. Sixty seven merits, two point five. Feel like I'm doing pretty good on the SPS front. Like no massive drops, but like that they're they're gonna add up pretty decent here. I feel like I feel like there's an epic, but like epic that's like what eleven cents. Three SPS that's twenty one cents. So basically, this is. This is basically as good as two Jinjuala's. Just to give you like some retrospect comparison. Whatever you want to say. Rare, 0.6. More potions. I love it. And the more potions I pull, 
means the more packs of Ridgewatch we could open for you guys in videos. So you guys want to see me get potions too, right? Right? I think. 3.3 again. 10 potions. Rare and common. Getting down there. 100 merits. Potions are good. On that, that row, not so good. And the last three here for the main ult. 0.4 SPS. 44 merits. 201 merits. Okay. Again, I'll check the totals for these um, at the end here for what the, they totaled out. All right, on to the main account. These were champ chests, I'm pretty sure. The marine champ chests again. I was kind of surprised because the Archmage bot got me up to like, was it 3,700 for champ? Yeah. Got me up to like 3,650, maybe higher, then dropped down to like 34 or 3,300. And that's when Rift Watchers came out. It's like, now Rift Watchers is out and my comp my competition is going to have that in their squads and I don't. The odds of getting back there don't seem very good. But it got there. Our trade bot got there. Actually got to like, got back there quick too. And once Rift Watchers was live and legal or whatever. So I don't remember what the rain ended up being for the tie, but I want to say it got, it got at least 200 rain points in like halfway through champ through me. Didn't flirt with champ too, but. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. So let's get Rift Watchers cards. You can see you're getting... I think it's been in Diamond 2 already this season. 5.7. Ooh. 5.3? 5.7. Nice. Getting 5 SPS per win. 6.154? Dang. Ooh, there's a losing streak. <laughs> All right. Let's claim these. I already 11 earned this season. I already 11. Bum, 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 bum. I want to say it's at least 50 champ chests. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 54 champ chests. It's been hard waiting for this. Whew. Here we go. Here we go. 627 merits. 40 SPS. That's... Let's see, 10 is 70 cents, so 70, 140. That's about 280, almost three bucks. Rare. Could argue that like anything that anything that's a card that isn't a legendary or like at least a gold epic. Like gold epic or higher or any legendary. Like basically any commons, rares, gold foil or not, regular foil epics, they they're they're kinda they're basically disappointments, especially in champ chests. 89 merits, I would call it disappointment as well. So basically, I am one good chest in this row. The merits could argue is all right, but like, even so, that's only about a third of a pack, not even. So, 10 SPS, rare. One of the better rares though, 37 SPS, 69.344 SPS. That's the obviously our best so far. No potions yet. <laughs> there we go. 37 potions, ask and you shall receive. 62, almost 63 SPS. 11 SPS. Heatsmith. Basilisk. Ugh. 134 merits. Common. Common. Com gold common. Be better, but I'll, I'll take the 33 SPS instead. <laughs> Ugh. 63 SPS. 15. 46 potions. Another gold common. And they're better than being regular foil commons anyway. 8.8 .8 SPS. Is that a lowest SPS drop so far? 49 potions. Yes. That is our lowest SPS drop so far at 8.837. .8 that still seems pretty decent. And that's not so good. About 18 SPS. About 10. Almost 35. 300! 66 SPS. Let's see, so 100 SPS is seven bucks. So 21, that's like 25 bucks. Another gold common. <laughs> I mean, at least they're turning gold. If we're gonna hit them, be gold. 17, 15, almost 16. Common and a rare and a common. All right, down to our last 14. 430 SPS. 
So that's like 30 bucks. It's going okay. Going okay. No packs, but you know, $30 of SPS, that, that can buy more than one pack. So that's better than pulling a pack. <laughs> 224 mirrors. Common. Common. 53 potions. 17, 65 potions. It's Potions are so much more fun when they're not just one every time. And not, it's not that long ago that cha in champ chests, if you got a potion, it was one. It sucked. This is so much better. Especially when I've got a bunch of packs on open, and I would prefer to not have to buy all my potions. 16 and 9, last four. Can we get a gold legendary? Can we get a four-digit SPS drop? Or, or more digits. Yeah, more digits is always good, too. Three rares in a row. All purple. Two dragon and a death. And a Venari Heatsmith to end it off. Oh, man. We got a lot of SPS there, though. <clears throat> All right. So we want to go to rewards. Let's go at the lowest alt first. <clears throat> So we got a dollar forty-four from eighty chess, which is basically the median. Dollar forty-four flat. We got dollar forty-four three. We beat the median. <laughs> oh man, not enough potions for for two packs, with a little bit extra. Other than that, not not too much. Almost two SPS. Now let's see. If I do season, will it still give me this? Is I open it so late? That I'm not sure. That I'm not sure. Well, welcome back, Milo. You're kind of late. Oh, yeah, I got a pack on this account from a silver chest the other day. It was two silver chests and one was a pack in silver. In silver. Seemed pretty good. Seemed pretty good. Um, trying to th So, yeah, the, so it should be in the bottom one here because cause we just got, what, 12 and 10? 12 and 11? Something like that. So yeah, 12 and 11. And since we have less potion than that in the current season at... Tw oh, it was a little low. So yeah, 12 and 11 is more than 11 and 5. So that means they should be within this. So got 361.6 uh, last season on this alt account. From 21 silver chests, 143 bronze chests. Now it's hard to say... Like, I'm delegating cards that account. Very hard to say, like, offhand what I may have been able to get for rental income if I didn't delegate the account. I highly doubt for the cards delegated, I would have gotten more than that worth the DEC. But it's hard to say how much better, unless, like, how long it would take, potentially, you know, to get $10 back. So that's something I want to try out, which I will hopefully start to test out soon. I know some other channels, some other content creators have done that, started doing that recently. I think I'm Bold Dog. Yeah, Bulldog, not Bullpup. I, I get confused because I know a different... I, there's a Bullpup in the different um, group I was a part of years ago. So, don't mind me. Um, but I think Bulldog, 1205, I think he started doing, like, from a fresh account as well to get, like, new player experience. So, my goal... I mean, my goal isn't new player experience related. That could be a nice bonus, per se. Um, but like, obviously like, I, I won't have a new player perspective per se, if that makes sense. As in like, I know enough, I'm not going in blind. So it's still be different than new player experience, even if I'm bound from the bottom, cause least I'll, I'll know more kind of thing, but it doesn't mean I won't struggle too. So if I do want to take a fresh account, I would like to try a fresh account where I don't buy, don't delegate anything, just use $3 credits. And see how long until the account is worth $10, basically. Um, but ultimately, like, I, I want to get more alts going. I'm not going to have, like, a bot farm. At least not anything crazy. That's for sure. But I, I would like to get... I'd like to have at least two accounts that are diamond, if not champ. And two to three accounts beyond that that are at least gold. So I've got three accounts right now. I plan to have at least four or five ASAP I don't see it getting much bigger than that, but if uh, my findings are good, who knows? But anyways, let's. Well, we already almost have more this season, so 
I'm running silver season chests this season. We've heard mostly silver, the bronze, but like, but the one pack in there, 214, that's two thirds of it already. But, I mean, I might surpass last season within another day or two. It's hard to say. Hard to say, but, I mean, higher starting points will make sense. But, anyways, um, main alt. Oh no, spoilers, spoilers. Ah, don't look. Don't look at that. You didn't see nothing. So, doo -doo -doo. so end of season, $10.08. That actually beats the median and the expected value. So our one pack, 24 SPS, lots of potions. So $6 of the 1080. So about 60% of the value is from potions, which again, I am totally fine with. So that's enough. 40 being the lowest of the two means enough that I could open eight packs for free on the potion front with, you know, another uh, nine packs plus worth of gold potions. So definitely solid there. Got a revealer today in the daily chest as well. Tidebiter. Let's kind of scroll through here on the higher accounts. Try Basilisk the other day. Like, nothing too, too crazy. Got a pack on the 27th. That probably happened in a video I did, actually, then. So, yeah. Let's far back. We gotta go there. Go to the season summary. How we did for the season. Sorry, it's starting to run kind of long. I'm, I'm yammering too much, but I haven't been on the camera for a while. I got, I got things to say. So, already this season, 218 from 7 gold, 12 and silver. We finished last season with $20.30. 111 gold, 44 silver. And again, half of that, $10.08 like it was, was from the season chess. That seems pretty solid. Like, if it, if it remains, like if, if you say that's, let's see, the EV was 24 and I got 20. The medium maybe is a little below 20. I don't know offhand for that one, but, um, yeah, median's probably below 20, but... So better than than most, but below average. Because no home runs or grand slams or whatever, but... Like, I feel like it wouldn't be completely insane to do that, possibly, like... I would not be shocked if a brand new account only renting, but know what they're doing, could do that in their first season... For sure, their second season. Like, the first season's kind of build up just to get, like, a higher floor for the second season. Because it's going to take you... Like, if you win every game, you're going to get your ECR plenty low day one or whatever. Just getting up into, like, mid-silver, let alone low gold. But... I'm, I'm excited for these experiments, basically. That's what I'm kind of indirectly trying to say. Uh, let's see. 15, 5... I mean, you can see the number of chests. Well, 103 silver, 6 gold. 61 gold, 36 silver. 111 gold, 44 silver. So, uh, more ch less per chest, but a lot more chests each time, too. But that that's a strong showing still for the alt. And then the main account, I'm going to guess I finished below the prior season. Because the prior season, the end of season especially, was bonkers. I believe I had a 40 SPS drop last season, as in not the one I just opened. Uh, oops. Spoilers! <laughs> kind of, sort of. So, our end of season was $103.76. Uh, that beats the median, does not beat the EV, but as I've been trying to tell you guys in my daily claims, like, if you beat the median, be happy. The EV... Is gonna, is gonna be a lot harder to beat. I mean, you can see here the EV is over double that because the EV that is pulled way up by you know the four or five plus digit SPS drops that happen so often. The median is not really affected by those. That you get a massive chest, that just means there's one high one ahead of you that's gonna like bring the medium, you know, one account higher, however you want to phrase that. But so we got 104. Let's see. So for the last couple days of the season. 21, $40, 564 SPS. I was not home for that, so you do not have a video for that one. Um, 2860, 
I don't. I think that was also when I was already gone until 377 SPS for that one. Maybe I did get close to last the prior, prior seasons. Because, dang, these ones you saw. Let's see. And the prior end of season... Okay, the prior end of season was 290. With 3,366 SPS and three packs. Five gold cards. 1,054 chests. We just did 54 again, didn't we? So from the same number of chests. The EV apparently was 178 for that one. And this time, the EV was 185. So EV's gone up. But yeah. A little, little bit better than a third of the value. But I had some good dailies there. So season summary... It still be good. The prior season is still better, I'm pretty sure. So we're at 2540 so far this season from 6 champ and 17 diamond chests. We finished with $215 last season. Season before that was $381. Where almost $300 was from end of season. This one, over $100 was end of season. If I'm remembering correctly already. Or if I'm already forgetting, I don't know. Six packs, five packs, no packs yet this season. And before that, it was 75, 48, 44, but a lot less chess and a lower tier chess. So, uh, yeah, these are my these are my first champ chests. I think since champ chests like became special, as in it wasn't just oh I made champ I get more chests. Yeah, so season 87, they they were all novice chests. If you got a higher league, you just got more chests. You didn't get better chests. So, yeah, 220 chests for the season, $24. The very next season, $19. Mostly diamond chests, but yeah. I, I think I've assessed enough here for you guys. So, end of season here, we got... So, so for total season last season, 215 215, what was it, 20? So 235. Yep. And three something, 235. So under 240. So about $239 from chess last season. Um, I should update my spreadsheet where I could beforehand. Uh, I'll probably try to mention the start of the next video I do. I'll mention the next, next daily claim video I'm able to do. Not within like my pack openings. Um, how the season broke down in total in the end. Because I got a spreadsheet running that I got an update for the, the days after the 25th. Like I've got I've got the daily chess rewards on there. I've got the SPS gained from ranked in there. I've got events. So I've got total, total earnings in there. So um, I just started tracking that on the 10th or 11th. And the last end of season was the 15th before this one. Um, but with that massive 295 end of season, whatever it was, um, just for those few days of data, I have $425 shown here. And I wasn't even using the this account you see right here. So I was just on two accounts. And I had 408 on the main and 1650 on the alt. So, and uh, the season that's now complete, um, so 15th through the 25th, for all three accounts combined is at 113. 113. So, and that was, let's see, I had about $22 of events earnings. None after that, I don't think, that shall be accounted for. Um, looks like about $55 of SPS gained from ranked. So, 55, I'm just figuring out now, I guess, 55, 85. Um, see, about $85 not from chess. So whatever I said a minute ago, I got $85 more than that from not chess, if that makes sense. So it was what, two crud. What does it say, like 239? So 239 plus 240, so 240, um, 85. So like 325 all in? Something like that? About 325 all in, I'll say, for last season. And the season before that again was 381. So 
So all in three accounts, events, everything, I think still fell short of last season. So this, this, no matter how you shake it, is still the benchmark for me personally. But anyways, th this has gone on long enough. 25 minutes in. Thank you all for watching so much. Thank you all so much for watching. Yeah, either way. Uh, subscribe if you're not already. Rock the like button. Uh, check out the Discord. Uh, follow me on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Jeff Opens Cards. Oh my god, I got it right. I had to stop myself there. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll see ya. You should have another video within 24 hours of this one. Hopefully opening some Riff Watchers packs. Maybe this guy will help give us his luck. Maybe get some, some gold coral lurkers. That'd be cool. Right? Right? So we'll see you next time. Bye!